Welcome back guys. So today I'm going to be taking a quick look at this digital multimeter from Banggood. Um, comes shipped in a very plain box. If you want the uh, SKU number there, there you have it. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this up here quick and show you what's inside and we'll take a quick look at it. Alrighty, so here it is out of the package. Comes with a very small um, user manual uh, I didn't look through it that much but it seems like it gives you a good bit of information um, how to use it stuff like that so nice that they include that and that it's in English um, here we got the cables so for this one here it comes with a temperature sensor there a uh, nice little touch for when you're working on different projects um, and then we got the probes here. They come with these covers. Um, now they're not extremely sharp. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. So they're not extremely sharp, but they are fairly nice. Um, I mean, you're not going to be getting into really, really tiny pitch pins and stuff like that on some ICs. Um, but for general everyday use, they're pretty good. I guess you could always buy upgrades for them. Um, the cable itself is fairly long i didn't quite measure to see how long it is but it is really long um longer than some multimeters i've had the connection on this end also has a little cap on it they keep debris and stuff right, out so there we go looks like a fairly decent quality cable like i said it's not top of the end but for basic hobbyists um it works fine the cable itself is fairly flexible uh, i'm not sure which material it's made out of but um i like that it's really flexible and you know easy to maneuver so let's go ahead and look at the actual multimeter here um so we have the dial here in the middle really nice clunk in the place dial um so shouldn't be any issues there um got the buttons up here they feel really nice um and i'll get some batteries in this here then and we can test it out a little bit now on the top here i'm not sure what this is yet i need to look at that i've never I'm not quite sure what that is uh also looks like it has a little light here for maybe indicating voltage or something like that uh, we flip it over on the back here have a little the little stand here it pops out so we can set it up so that's nice um, and then underneath that would be where you would probably put the battery that I will go ahead and do here in a few seconds the sides here they're not really rubber but it's not really a plastic either it's sort of like a in the middle sort of material um, feels good in the hand it doesn't feel cheap you know it doesn't flex at all um very solid build i'm very pleased with that especially for the price i paid um i was expecting something a little bit cheaper but no i'm pretty happy with that so let's go ahead and get a battery in this and see what the screen looks like Alrighty, so i uh, got batteries in here so let's turn it on all right so nice bright display there uh, has some voltage floating there but that's fine set it to DC mode uh, got millivolts uh, we got ohms resistance Hertz amps milliamps temperature and then I think that's just the sense if there's voltage there uh, so let's set this to DC voltage there now I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to do this, but let's see here if we can do this with one hand. Alrighty, so there we go, got it hooked up to this little AA battery, showing 1.525 volts. And I think, if we can... So you can hold that and now that I disconnected it still still remembers it 
um, you know, so it has the also the range settings here. Um, let's see, got a little light on it. If you press and hold that, um, if you press and hold that, it turns the backlight on and off. So, all right, so I set it here, um, to this setting here which allows us to check resistance um, we can also uh, let's get back here so we can check resistance it's on auto range we can switch that to be whatever range we want it to be um, set it to auto again we can go to continuity so if we touch them together it tells us there's continuity there um, beeper is actually fairly loud that's uh, Fairly, that's really nice. Uh, got the diode check here, and we got capacitance. Um, we can also switch it over the hertz. Um, got two settings there. Go to amps here. Got several different settings in there. And I'm not really going to be testing these all out. I'm just showing you um, some of the uh, menus here. So pretty much the same settings there, only for the milliamps. Um, go to temperature here. We've got Fahrenheit and Celsius. So um, let me actually go ahead and plug that in, and uh, we'll see if it gives us a reading quick. All right, so I got it plugged in here. I didn't really bother to unravel it. It's saying it's 78 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius. So if I take and uh, put my hand over it, it starts heating up there we go 91 and if we let it go it starts cooling back off so that seems to be uh, fairly nice um, fairly responsive and um, you know I don't know uh, how accurate it is I do know you know, it is about 75 or 70 so in the house here. So it's probably not too far off. We could probably do some testing in the future to see how accurate it is. I don't really have the equipment to uh, test that out. All right, but overall, I am fairly happy with this uh, little multimeter here from Banggood. Um, if you guys are interested in uh purchasing this there will be a link in the description um you know like i said it's it, it's fairly cheap but it seems like a very well built uh m little multimeter here uh, i'm going to be using it mainly for testing some 18650 batteries to see if they're good or not and then before i put them on a charger um it'll also be great for troubleshooting uh my model airplanes and uh building some electrical uh projects that i want to build here in the near future so yeah go ahead if you're looking for a multimeter i would suggest going over and taking a look at this and uh picking one up all righty well if you guys enjoyed that make sure you uh give it a thumbs up here and uh subscribe to my channel for more videos i have uh, several more planned and uh and i have some rc stuff coming along so if you guys are subscribing to my channel for that just be patient i have some of that coming Alrighty, righty till next time